which bones are are good for dogs or is it the size of bone or size of dog that is going to determine that? It really depends what size your dog is. Uh, I divide bones in three groups, uh, the ones for food and nutrition mainly, the ones that can digest, the one that can digest but are also dental bones, and then the bones for play. So if you, let's say, look at a small chihuahua, you know, food bones are chicken necks or duck necks or chicken backs, chicken wings, chicken feet or legs. And I know that many people will go, oh, my goodness, like he's recommending uh, raw chicken bones. Aren't they dangerous? Well, because they're raw, they fully digest and your dog will really enjoy them. If you have a small dog, these are the bones that I recommend. Uh, when it comes to dental bones for little dogs like chihuahuas and little poodles and other mini dogs, I usually recommend something like chicken backs or chicken legs or duck dog legs, poultry legs. Lamb neck or lamb shank is also a good idea. Beef ribs are also really good dental bones. Some people think that marrow bones are really good, uh, and I don't really like them, even in small dogs, because they're quite fatty. They have big uh, central marrow, and they can actually upset uh, your dog's stomach. Sometimes they do, and sometimes they don't. They can be good for us play bones, but as our dogs get larger, medium dogs or large dogs, they can actually crack their teeth on the large marrow bones. And this is one of the mistakes that people make. Dogs' jaw are very, very strong. And if they try to chew on the marrow bones, they actually often fracture them. And we see these slab fractures, which are these slits, almost like a slab of rock or a, slit, a slate. And it damages the teeth and they lose it. And eventually they start having problems with the opposing teeth because, you know, it builds up tartar more and so on. So it's super important to understand that there is a different um, different bone, different type of bone for different size of a dog. When it comes to medium dogs and large dogs, the chicken backs or the chicken legs may not be sufficient to scale your dog's teeth. So the dental bones uh, would go kind of to the beef rip uh, area, a lamb, or goat shank, uh, something like that. Obviously, food bones can be the same as for a small dog. And large dogs, um, again, the same. Lamb shanks, lamb necks, uh, beef ribs. Uh, those are the bones that um, I would highly recommend. You will also see very crumbly stool after your dog eats a bone, which is normal. So you will almost will look like chalk powder. Like if you crush chalk, and color it with a little bit of brown. I don't want to be too graphic here. But, uh, <laughs> you can imagine. There's another thing. If you have a lab or dog that guzzles or gobbles up food, um, you may want to give them shorter ribs. Don't give them the whole beef rib because they can actually swallow it without chewing. And then it can get stuck in the esophagus. I have not seen that happen myself, but I've been told that it can happen. So with, with rib bones, you have to be careful. Either hold it or put it, uh, you know, feed it with uh, two ribs together or something that your dog cannot swallow as a whole piece. But even safer, give them a shorter one. And how often would you recommend feeding bones? My general kind of approach to it is like it does need to be totally rigid. I don't like to be rigid with anything in dogs because uh, with dogs because they live in nature. They're opportunists. They kind of eat whatever they need. but you know, 25%, if you give bones once every two to three days, that's probably about uh, about right. When you have a small dog, obviously, you don't want to give give them a full meal of bones. Uh, but you, I would recommend roughly about 25% of the overall amount. With larger dogs, you can give them a little more at one session, obviously, because they're larger. But still, be careful. Make sure that your dog gets used to them, that you introduce them gradually. Maybe give a little tiny, tiny um, chicken neck or, or chicken wing or something like that. And over time, you increase them. Some people give only the soft bones, which will, again, have a very poor mm -hmm. dental scaling effect. And I would like to actually say one more thing. Uh, when dogs crunch on bones, like lamb shanks or something like that, or, lamb, or beef ribs, um, they may look sharp. And people often worry about um, 
than possibly piercing the, the stomach or the intestine. And this is actually a total myth. I have not seen this happen in 30 years of me uh, recommending, almost 30 years, yeah, 26, 27 years of recommending raw bones. Because uh, when bones are eaten, they're predigested by the strong stomach acid, and the st stomach is super strong. So the, the muscle layer and all the mucosa layers are really strong, and the acid dissolves them, and then it goes further. You may see on an x-ray some fragments of bone, but the, the intestine is also very, very strong. It would be very hard to, hard to pierce. And I have not seen that in 26 years. I, you know, I comfortably give packs, my, my dog packs, uh, bones, without ever worrying that they would pierce his intestine. 